the quaintly named Death Flows has asked, could I please draw or paint a chameleon? Well, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's go and find out. Once upon a time, I'd have gone to one of my animal books or I'd have gone to the library or the zoo. But now you just go to Google Images and you get all these amazing, amazing pictures for reference for how to draw a chameleon. Basically, a chameleon is designed to walk along a stick. And so I'm going to work out, it's basically its body is a tube, looking at it about that way. And then its head is it's kind of boxy shape. And then the tube goes off into a curl at the back. And then the legs go like that. And the eyeballs will be on that. And that is your basic design for a chameleon. And you can use it any way you like. You can do it from the side. You can do it from very high up above, looking down on it. And you can try looking from down below. And this is all about getting squares and boxes and basic shapes in your head and getting a three dimensional map in your head. What's really good on Google Images is to find out how the skeleton of a chameleon works and some various other weird images turn up too. Now if you go to look at the skeleton then you'll see it's a bit more complicated and so you've got kind of a shape there and then the spine is going all the way down like that and there's a great big rib cage there and a little pelvis then we come forward into the knee and then down into these kind of grasping hands. And here again, we've got a little shoulder blade and there's the elbow. And a lot of other animals have their, like dogs have go the other way and horses and things like that. But chameleons are quite human like in the way their arms and legs bend. Google images will also provide you close ups of their very weird hands and feet. Now, if you go and look at their feet, they are really, really strange. They kind of split off into two. So instead of having a thumb, this finger has kind of come to connect with it and it's kind of gone like that. And you will find the one two. So that will kind of split into three with little claws and it will be something like that. So it's almost like it's wearing mittens. So I'm now gonna do a very rough kind of pencil layout for my chameleon. And they have this very glum expression on the faces. So I'm kind of working out that's going to be the body and I want it coming around in this really nice tight spiral for the tail. And they do have this kind of crest. Some have enormous crests and some have sort of horns and all sorts of things. But this is a kind of, I'm making this one up as I go along. So I'm going to want to see it's kind of holding on to the branch. And this really will be, they're kind of on tiptoe. And then this will be holding on underneath here. And then we're going to see another foot holding on at the front. And I'm trying to think, yes, that will be from that side. We'll get the two on this side and then three on the other. And I'm going to put his eyeball about there. And the other one about there. And we're going to get a sort of a spine line up here. So follow all the way around then. Well, I keep drawing this and drawing this and putting it on a light table and then put a new piece of paper over the top and just refining and refining the design until I'm happy with it. And there's a new <laughs> sheet of paper going on the top again. And uh, when I'm kind of happy, you can just see the previous drawing just slightly underneath through it. When I'm happy, then I start drawing in ink over the top. Again, using the light table. So the various drawings that I've done underneath that have kind of improved and improved and improved are acting as my kind of base drawing. And, uh, and I'm building up with, with just kind of random circles and dots to uh, build a texture and shadows and shades. And now I'm starting to apply some watercolour, a very thin layer of yellowy green. And while it's wet, dropping in uh, slightly darker green to start building up the shade 
and getting it dry with my trusty hair dryer um, and then starting to building it up with just little dots of paint in a kind of pointillist style I suppose um, slowly slowly building up the uh, the whole feel of the thing with sort of the whole spotty feel but also using the spots to um, kind of start defining the three-dimensional shape of it getting darker and darker just keep adding more and more color all the time well my neighbor's been uh, sawing up wood all day and so there's a lot of noise in the background so I'm gonna zoom through this um, again it's just dabbing on spot after spot after spot building up building up shade and tone I've had a lot of people uh, posting artwork on my website for the Sunday gallery review show um, if you're gonna do a chameleon why don't you draw that and add it to the gallery on my shoerainerdrawing.com website I'll put a little link here of how to get there all the instructions are there and then uh, you can share it with us all and uh, and I'll put it on the gallery review show on Sunday and um, once a month I choose a winner to win one of my sketchbooks uh, my exclusive sketchbooks so get drawing chameleons I'd love to see how you draw chameleons <laughs> I think uh, I think I've been a bit bamboozled by all the wood chopping today so um, I'm not sure this is entirely my best but uh, I hope it's given you some idea of how to draw chameleons <laughs> If you enjoy watercolour, go and see how I painted a pear. You might pick up some tips from there or just take a chance with a mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back for more drawing lessons and advice. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>